welcome to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at TG-12, the Japanese version of Air Raid from the Fall Cybertron or the Generations line, whichever you prefer. And so if we actually take a look at his box and packaging, it's uh, just like the other ones you've seen in my other reviews, nothing really exciting there, just a few um, English things that I can read. And uh, anyway, overall this guy's color scheme comes highly recommended over the domestic version, so I'm kind of anxious to see what he looks like. And so uh, let's take him out of his packaging and have a look. Alrighty everybody, this is Air Raid in his vehicle mode, and I have to say, um, like this, this is kind of a cool, you know, little, looks like he's turning into air sort of deal. Unfortunately, it is due to the weapon that he has in robot mode. You can see this blade sticks out of the bottom, which is not like Shockwave. Um, nice feature is it does conform to the body shape here on the underside. Downside is, you can't set it flat. It's going to tip to either one side or the other. Now, there is a exception to this. If you were to take this guy and have him sitting on like a, a shelf ledge or whatever, you know, some flat surface, the way to get around it is you can flip it out. And yes, it will be visible, but as you can see, he does sit flat. Um, you know, so if you're displaying him on, on the edge of a shelf or whatever, that's one way around it. <clears throat> but overall, I think I love his, um, his vehicle mode. Um, this little extra bit that they gave him, I think makes it look a little more aerodynamic in addition to the wings that he already has. And I'm not going to ignore it, yes, th this is a strong cue from the mold they took this from, which is Shockwave. Um, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, I ha actually had a weird thought, is what if there was a third party company that made a piece that just kind of snapped onto the front here. That would be kind of cool to make it look more like he was in the game. I suppose it's just a reuse of the shockwave mold. Now, I mean, you know, you could use the parts back here, maybe even the wings, um, but that would be kind of cool if there was some sort of fabricated piece that could just fit over this to make it look somewhat more like he did in the game. But um, like it is right now, I, I don't mind it. Even even the upside down Autobot symbol there, um, that doesn't bug me. I, I'm loving this remolded chest. So anyway, um, I believe that the colors that were used for this are vastly superior to the one that Hasbro used, um, but that's just me. And here's a comparison between Ultra Magnus and Air Raid, and you can kind of see that uh, Air Raid is a little bit longer than Ultra Magnus, um, but this mold, ever since it was used as Optimus Prime, has been shorter and smaller in vehicle mode than, excuse me, than a lot of the Deluxe Class figures anyway. But it's not really a big deal. Um, they both look cool, and I mean, if, if you were to display these guys on a shelf next to each other, I, I think they would look good. Uh, like this, even. So, anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. Anyway, um, the little bits, like I, my big complaint, um, like I said, is, is this. They remolded the cannon part, um, and this is a bottom piece that fits onto it. That's my only complaint, is, is the, the, you know, going to one side or the other. Um, but it's not a total kill. I mean, this is still a cool figure. So anyway, uh, next, I want you guys to see what he looks like in robot mode. And here is Air Raid. I'm loving this guy. Looking at his sword here, you have a shiny bronze, and then you have kind of a see-through uh, pinkish-orange plastic. Um, I'm loving the, the chest. Um, you know, granted, Yes, he doesn't look anything like his game model, but you know what? I don't care. I'm I'm digging this. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention about his weapon. Aside from this, to me, this reminds me more of Prime's Path Blaster. They say the weapon that comes with uh, Sideswipe is meant to emulate Prime's Path Blaster from the game also. You know, there's elements to that gun and to Air Raids here that I think both share that. Now, as you get now, as, you know, some people will show you um, this. I have it connected to his arm, much like you can with the shockwave mold. You can attach the weapon to the arm. You just fold the hand in, plug it in. Um, and what a lot of people will show you um, first. Let's go ahead. You can see the sword. Look, look, look at how ridiculous that is. Um, I thought about it. It could be practical, depending upon if Air Raid knew how to use it. But as far as this action figure goes, 
you can actually remove this piece and you have uh, you know on shock waves they had the the three barrels for this gun I don't mind it being cut down to two and honestly this deal obviously having to plug into there um, I, I like it better folded up uh, emulating the path blaster better than I do as the full-on sword even whenever I showed you it you know plugged in here um, you know on some of the the game models or concept art or whatever for the game they would have their blades kind of down here concealed um, if it wasn't concealed in the arm itself so you know what I, I'm I'm okay with that um, one of the things that they showed was um, whenever you're not using this piece out here on Air Raid's back you can actually plug this in you know for storage or what have you and you know what uh, it doesn't even look look bad back there kind of gives them more of a uh, onslaught um, sort of thing going on and you know you could flip it around if you didn't want the barrel sticking up but then you're gonna have that part and personally I I think it looks better like this so one of the big deals with this guy is um, you know with with all of the uh, re-releases of, of molds that have you know been retooled and repainted um, like like I brought out, you know, they, they remolded this from Shockwave and um, the cannon, obviously. Now, with the secondary sword that is given here and part of the retool deal, you can actually plug this in and create this uh, kind of cool combination sword. And uh, if you guys ever watch any of Imgo's reviews, he said, you know, possibly this could be the Fall of Cybertron Star Saber if you wanted to use it as such. Um, and there, there's a wide variety of, of ways you can display the sword. Uh, that's what's so cool. You know, if you want to have more of a streamlined profile, um, you can have it like this. Or if you want more of the flared out one, you can have it like this. But uh, overall, I, I love this version of, of the mold. The fact it is air raid. And you can kind of see Ultra Magnus is a little bit taller than air raid, given. Um, but you know what, it, it's Ultra Rangus was always taller than a lot of the Autobots. So anyway, and you know, you can kind of see that the, uh, together by themselves, if I get my beat up thumb out of the way here, you can see they don't look bad with each other. Um, they scale quite nicely, both being deluxes. Okay, so honestly, uh, final thoughts on this. I just wanted to let you guys know, I, I generally have a rule that I don't like to buy retooled repaints. Um, there, the reason that I did for Air Raid, um, I do have Shockwave, but I think um, I think I wouldn't buy the American version. Uh, but the, this version was, I think, distinct enough that in robot mode I don't really see Shockwave. I see more Shockwave in vehicle mode than I do in robot mode. But I, I believe that there was enough distinction here with him to actually warrant him being bought. Now a lot of people may not follow along that line. They may pass over this air raid because like I've mentioned a hundred other times, he didn't look like this in the game. That's a legitimate reason not to buy him. Um, like I said though, I think there's another distinction here. I like it because it's different enough from Shockwave. But uh, you know, if, if you're wondering would I recommend him? Um, if it floats your boat, go for it did mine so you know hey and if not that's cool too I mean you know it's it's <laughs> unless you're just somebody trying to collect all of them uh, yeah you got to pick and choose so anyway uh, this has been Transformers reviews of the Japanese fall Cybertron air raid a little fun fact of the day guys the ultra Magnus and air raid reviews were shot at the same time and in reverse so anyway I thought I'd just throw it in there for funnies.